I was looking at <laughs> what's going on everybody it's your two best friends here on token trans to talk to you today about top surgery about again again but this time it's a little bit different it's uh it's my top surgery so it's gonna be a little bit different around here um yeah i'm really excited and i'm here with my best friend Bo. How are you feeling over there, Bo? I am shitting my pants with excitement for you. Oh my God. I'm <laughs> so happy. I'm so happy. I'm so, so, so happy. Ugh, it's like it. at the beginning of this year, like I was, you know, I was like, oh my God, Aaron, what if we have our top search at the same day? Because we were like both in the process at the same time. Oh. And I was having problems with finding someone with BMI and you were having problems with your insurance and finding someone that you really wanted. So um, now that you have a date, um, let's start with you finding the guy, the one, the guy that you wanted to do it or the woman, the person, <laughs> the surgeon. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. No, um, I once I found you talking about once I found the actual one. Yeah. Yeah, I um I was really thankful. Hold on, I'm confused. Wait, you were gonna say um pause. Mm -hmm. Um, you wanted to start with my when I found my surgeon. Did I fuck up? No, it's okay. I just had I had. What are we starting with? I'm sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. I was just gonna say um. No, it's okay. I was just gonna say, I'm, I'm. Hold on, I'm high. Hold on, I lost it. Hold on. <laughs> Fuck. Wait, hold on. Wait, you wanted to start with like how you knew you wanted top surgery. Yes. Yeah, I was gonna start with like how I was just gonna say how I've been, how I was feeling, and then, um. Yeah. When I, when I, when I was gonna start when I was a kid, like when okay. I wanted okay, it yeah, as yeah. a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So. Unpause. When did you know that you for sure wanted top surgery in the future? Yeah, I didn't really know that um, top surgery was, I didn't know words for things when I was younger. I wasn't in like an educated uh, environment. So um, when, yeah. I was a, when I was a kid, being shirtless was my favorite. My, my, fa my favorite memories were like running around with my brothers at my Nana's house in the yard, just like chasing each other and riding bikes around and just like being in the sun and soaking it up. I loved that so much. Um, and then after like second or third grade, my family started to kind of say like, look like you need you need to be more ladylike right and ladylike you know i'm I weren't, like pretty much what they're saying is you are not giving lady and we need you to give lady and i am like not giving lady so <laughs> it is not giving cunt honey <laughs> no it's not giving what we're, what we're needing it to give and uh don't know what to do about it so we're gonna start telling you that you need to be more ladylike that's our way to say it you need to wear more ladylike we need you mm -hmm. to um we need you to cover yourself you know when you go swimming and when you're out there running around and i was pissed i was so pissed i was like all my brothers get to run around and have fun in the sun and all these things and i was like and i i don't want that i don't want to like i don't that's just not what i that's not part of me yeah nothing. and i was right. really they were like you know that's not that's not really how we're going to do this. They didn't, they didn't want me. They were hoping that I would grow out of that phase. Right. So yeah. that, that was like my earliest memory of like being shirtless, like with my chest and with my body and feeling mm -hmm. so free, just totally like a hundred percent, you know, like that kid innocence. And then right. and I wasn't even like well endowed. Like <laughs> I had a small, is that the right, is that even the word? Yeah. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Okay, so I, I don't know these words. Um, so I wasn't even like big on my chest, and they were they were still like kind of making it almost like, I mean, I, I hate to say it this way, but they're like, like they made it a thing about my chest. Yeah, they were sexualizing your. Yeah. 
secondary sex characteristics. Exactly. And I, I mean, this is like second, third grade. And I remember being like, why? Like, why does it matter? Like, I'm at home. I'm like, I, I'm, I'm really little. Like, I don't know. <laughs> I was really frustrated about it. So yeah. I've been wanting this for so long so many more instances like that leading up i've never been one to swim in a two-piece i've never i've never been one with that because of my chest itself specifically even when Mm -hmm. you wear a shirt and like when you get it wet it still shows you still have to like constantly be pulling it off your chest to immediately you know yeah give yourself a little slack and stuff so i was really excited um and i started planning my surgery um my first plan was to finance it um, I was going to go, I was going to find, I found someone actually, um, Dr. Hope Cherie, and she was going to be a, um, a great option for me. And I even did an online consult with her. Um, and then shortly after my consult, I was finally able to get insurance. So since I had my insurance, I was like, why am I not going to utilize this insurance? And I tried to like, Hey, like, can I add my insurance? And they said that they didn't accept insurance. So I was mm-hmm. like, oh, okay, well, I guess this is definitely not going to work then. So I kind of like had to re- go back to the drawing board, which can be a little frustrating sometimes. But um, I just decided that, yeah. you know, if I'm going to do this thing, we're going to do this thing. We're going to go all the way to LA. We're going to see Dr. Mosser, you know, the, the, the one that I had been seeing a lot of uh, a lot of on my feed and I've been really liking their vibes over there. Yeah. So I um, reached out to them to try to get a little insurance going on. And they said that they were in network. And then after, um, after my consult and scheduling all of my dates, I was informed that there is a misquote where they were no longer in network and that it was going to mm-hmm. be way way more expensive because if they're even if you have insurance and they're out of network it's going to be way way more you're going to have less coverage um right so that was the second time i went through all the way through my consult and even booking my date and then having to like be like okay i guess it's i guess it's not happening when i thought it was going to happen so i I just went back that must have sucked dude it did suck and it was so frustrating and i feel like a lot of people are like you know it's they they don't really know too much about the appointment process and like mm-hmm. how many steps there are with or without insurance to really right. getting your surgery date even planned on the table or even yeah. a consult on the table. It takes sometimes right. a lot of barrier to entry. Right. Well, like I feel like I didn't have a lot of issue once I found a surgeon and my issue was mostly in finding a surgeon that would operate on someone who exists outside of the BMI scale. Right. And so that took me forever. And so I kind of relate to like that sucky feeling of like, well, this one's not going to work. Right. Let me email this one or this one's not going to work. And then when I finally found my guy, mm-hmm. it was like, The consult took the longest. That was like a six month wait before I got my consult. But then my surgery was one month after my consult, literally a month to the day after my consult. So I didn't have a lot of, right. I didn't have a lot of insurance stuff to deal with. They were in network and I paid my deductible and that was literally it. So I got super lucky there. Um, That insurance stuff stresses me out though. For real, like, that's what I was the most scared about. And I was prepared because I hear about, you know, the kind of things that happen, like with insurance and stuff. And thankfully, my hospital made it really easy. And they were always like, you know, if something comes back, we fight it for you. We send the letters. Don't worry. Like, Mm. blah, blah, blah. And they made me feel really good about it. So. I'm glad I never we never had to deal with anything like that um like you did. <laughs> right. Yeah. Yeah, it, it sometimes it can be easy and sometimes it can be frustrating in a few different ways for sure. Yeah. Get uh, wrecked. Yeah. I 100,000% w- agree. Once you find your actual surgeon it starts to get a little bit more smooth. Because yeah. now you finally have the right person and you've looked through so many before and after photos online and some people don't have them. And some people there's like no reviews on the internet about people, but they end up to be 
they end up being great surgeon options. Like your mm -hmm. like your surgeon didn't have a shit ton of content online, but they yeah, still I couldn't still find a remarkable it. job. Yeah. Right. And they now, did show me before and afters in the office. Once you got in, yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. There right. just wasn't much available online. Right. But, right. You know. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I was super happy to find the person that I that I was going to be four hours away because when you told me that you were going to be like recovering in your own bed, I was like, okay, maybe even if I have to drive six to eight hours, I want my own bed. Like, right? I would much rather be. I mean, even if like even if I can't sleep in my own bed, I want my own couch. I want my own, you know, my own house, my own space. So, right. Definitely, uh, I was super excited to find them being four hours away. Um, but this mm -hmm. time my console was going to be in person. So <laughs> all of my other consults were a thousand percent, like on the phone, like everything was virtual, like, you know, uh, like there was no in-person stuff. So I was a little nervous to drive four hours, you know, for my consult, <laughs> but, uh, yeah. my, my wife came with me. So it was, we made it more like a road trip type of situation, um, and we got there early and we even got to like stop at this antique shop. We went and like, we, because we had to kill time. We got there like an hour early. Cause I was like paranoid that I was going to miss it. So we, we, yeah, yeah. So we went down the road to that antique shop and I am a sucker for antique shops. Like it's like a thrift short thrift store on crack. There's just yeah. like, it's so condensed all these different, like, and some things are like ridiculously overpriced, but then some things are like, snack a dollar yeah skills <laughs> yeah. that you would never that people are not going to find in like target or you know any of those like popular places like unique th stuff so we've been right. we, had a, we had a lot of fun going through there um to kill time and my console was so fast my it was so fast once we got in it was like snappy they were like you know pushing us through um and the guy uh dr eric emerson um i met him and he was very, very sure, very sure of himself. He just seemed, you know, he, he was, uh, it was, it was relaxing in the sense that, um, that he, you know, he was very confident and he had showed me a, a ton more before and afters that weren't even on the website, even though he had a lot on the website. So that was nice to go through that to, with him together. And he, you know, answered all, you know, any of my questions that I had had, um, so he answered any questions that I had had, and I was just pr super, super, uh, super impressed, you know, with his team and how fast it was. So that's awesome. Uh, yeah, that was really, really nice. Um, was there anything um, uncomfortable about the consult? Like, did they take any pictures of you unbound yeah. or like to any kind of touching and measuring? Yeah. So, yeah. So after I actually met him and we were done, we were like done with our like my questions portion or whatever he was like mm -hmm. so do you mind if i take a couple pictures and stuff and he, they had told me to like um that i will be removing my you know my binder or anything with like bras or anything that you wear uh, mm -hmm. so i knew i couldn't tape so i i went not taped um mm -hmm. and he said that you know they just needed to take a few pictures and that um he just wanted to see my chest to see you know what we're working with and stuff and um mm -hmm. i was prepared for what you told me about your consult with them like how much they had to like physically touch their my chest so i was like just mm -hmm. prepared for them to just do their thing and i'm just gonna disassociate and then afterwards <laughs> me and kayla are gonna go to starbucks and it's gonna be great and yes. so, <laughs> so i was just like like trying not to pay attention you know he he you know i just stood there he, you know he he said he was confident that it would be a straightforward surgery i like turned from side to side um and then he did have to touch my nipple that was uncomfortable the look uh, on your face when you said that uh, I felt that like all the light just left your eyes. It was, yeah, it was not it. Oh my uh, God. Like just, no, it's just, that, I'm so that, sorry. That was not it. That was just not, not, not the vibe I was going for. So he, uh, he just like literally just like pinched it, like slightly pinched it and then let go. I was like, Oh my God. How much did we really learn here? Like that's terrifying. Why? why did we that was literally he didn't like push on my tissue or maybe he did i don't know that's as much as i remember but but uh, <laughs> uh, that was kayla but um no that as far as as far as that goes that's about as all as all i got 
for the actual console. Oh my god, bro, that is a vibe. <laughs> that is just fine. You know, you are within your right to forget everything about that <laughs> console. Holy shit. Could you imagine? Like, it's just so fucking wild that, you know, I've spent I've spent the past fucking what, like 10 years? Not having access to my nipples, you know, mostly being trans taped up, you know, right. um, and right. not having my nobody touching it but me. Yeah. Ten years of nobody touching my chest but me. And yeah. and then all of a sudden I'm in a room full of strangers and this man is just feeling my chest when, and measuring me and shouting numbers out. And I'm like. I'm not even here right now, dude. Like, I'm gone. I'm out. Tim, you I'm got gone. me good because I'm closing my eyes. <laughs> right? Yeah. It's just so crazy how to be the, like, to get the surgery that you've always wanted. You have to go through, like, just, it's really only, like, what, like, 90 seconds of the most uncomfortable time yeah. of your life. <laughs> That's not Fuck. it. Fuck. It's not it. It doesn't it doesn't matter if your oh. chest isn't even sensitive. Like my chest is not that sensitive. Like yeah, my, neither I, is mine. I didn't used to wear nipple guards like that when I trans tape. Like it didn't that my, yeah. my they just didn't bother. We were both me. guilty of that. Yeah. Well, you have to trust me, it'll itch and you'll be like it anyways. Yeah. It, it I, I I my chest was very I just like durable, you know, from taping yeah. just <laughs> being used to it or whatever, but and I was, that was not it. No. Still not it. Yeah. Uh, but like you said, it wasn't even that long. It was like, it was 90 mm -hmm. seconds. So that was yeah. super, super doable. Now I'm just really like, uh, I will, they, I, I, well, after that concert, they booked my, the concert. The after concert. My, <laughs> oh, after we celebrated <laughs> and uh, about freaking eight weeks of paperwork waiting for my letter to come in, they booked my oh, yeah. date. For November, and yeah, I was super excited, and I had that was that's a you know ton of time to plan. Um, we have a lot going on in November and December, so I was yeah, really it is so close to the holidays for you to be healing during that time. It's and visiting people, and uh, yeah, yeah, that's rough. It so, beats too much. Yeah, but you know I'm gonna be there, so I was like, we'll figure it out. You know, we'll get Nana, right. we'll get Kayla's mom. Like, we're, we'll tackle it. We're fine. Um, mm -hmm. But then they called me like a couple weeks, like two weeks after I got my numbers for um, how much it was good, like the end cost was gonna be, and they said that they had had a cancellation for June sixth, which was is like less was and is less than a month away, and uh -huh. I'm like. Yes, absolutely. Like I don't even know what's going on in my schedule, but I will clear it. Like we will figure something else out. I'll be there. So I actually got to skip a lot, a lot of months of waiting. Uh and well, yeah, of waiting and I mean, which is good, but it's also making me like condense all like the content I want to get with my chest beforehand. And like, you know, you want to get the before and afters right, especially as yeah. it, it shares that stuff online. So Bro, your surgery is in three weeks from Tuesday. Oh, oh my gosh. I have like one thing. <laughs> and and I actually just found out yesterday that my Nana's likely not coming. So it'll probably just be me and my wife, which is going to be super fun. I mean, totally doable. I'm, we're excited. Oh, yeah. So we're it'll super, be doable for sure. It's so soon. Oh, my gosh. I can't even. I cannot. I'm so I'm so pumped. I just can't even. Oh. I'm so happy. Oh my God. This is the so best much. because it's like, it's kind of happening. Kind of like how mine happened. Like, yeah, it was like all of us, I had my consult and all of a sudden surgery is a month away. Right. And that's like and literally what happens with you. Yeah. After and, all these years. Yeah. And now I get to, I get to be on the other side. <laughs> because i know i was like oh my god dude i can't i can't even focus right now dude can you like dude, can you I'm call me so out. i can get this work done <laughs> <laughs> can you just sit there i literally that's all i could do i'm like mm -hmm. like yeah. my mind is like you gotta do work you gotta do work you gotta fucking do something about the couch so that you can fucking sleep on it and you gotta, do you all gotta the things. 
Yeah, and I just like, and I'll say you're gonna get surgery, and what if it's bad? Yeah, you're just fried mentally. Fried, absolutely yeah. unavailable. So you know, <laughs> I'm happy I get to be that person for you. Oh well, I, I'm glad you are there and coming along the ride with me because it'll be fun no matter what. I'm doing a bunch of research on like products and um, you know the post op secrets and deets and what to expect and all that stuff because i'm excited but i'm also a little nervous so yeah uh i'm but i'm i guess i'm like i'm not doing drains like this surgeon doesn't okay. do drains so yeah. uh i've heard both ways about all of it this guy i asked him and i i did tell him that was one of my concerns about like fluid and stuff and he said like out of all of the cases like that he's had it's like it's like a one percent or zero it was like not a lot of people like like not a lot of problems he, he doesn't run into that um mm -hmm. so you know i guess he's the surgeon so we'll yeah. uh, we'll follow directions to the t and that's about all we really can do you know maybe buy our merch and you know maybe maybe buy our merch down maybe maybe buy our merch down below in the down below in the link down below is there merch? Oh my God, there might be. There, there might, might be, be merch. I, hold on, I have to go check the description right now. Hold on, hold on. Okay, let's, okay. Okay. I'll meet you there.